Hello and welcome once again to the Trailer Fitters Toolbox. Today we're going to have a look at a bore scope, or uh, what it should really be called is an endoscopic intrusion inspection tool. <gasps> Here I have the camera unit with the screen and also a recording device. And I can look into bores. And we're going down here, we can see some valves. You can see the valve, the valve seats. And also, going a bit further down, you can see the cross hatching on the bores. The recording isn't very good, but the actual camera itself is better than this. I'm looking into a ZTEG engine that's had a little bit of an issue with the timing belt. And in fact, the belt has slipped, um, taking the teeth with it. All right, so suspected because it won't start, it's losing compression. We think that the valves are bent. So what I'm doing is looking down into the bores to see if there's any damage. This is uh, a rather expensive uh, camera and recording equipment. However, you don't need to buy something like this. You can get something cheaper. You can record, you can make photographs, use as an SD card to record on. And you can see it's made by Snap-on. Uh, it's very reliable. I've had this for a few years now. The bonus of this is I can actually look into places that you can't normally get your eyes into. On the end, there's a camera with a lamp. You can see that. I absolutely love the word intrusion and what we're doing is looking down the spark plug hole onto the top of the piston and I'm just looking for any sorts of damage or anything that looks unusual. The best type of endoscopic device that you can have is one that you get adapters for. This is a mirror so I can see up the top of the ball and you can see the valves very clearly. The valve that I was actually looking at would be something like this that is fully down with the camshaft pushing it down. This uh, has a lamp as well and you can either turn it off, turn it bright or turn it dim and turn it right off. The biggest downside to this is the uh, probe. You need an aperture big enough to be able to push it into. So some diesel engines you can't look in there. Right, to check this I need the valves completely shut and the cam is in the correct position. You can see where the heel is. And going into the bore, I'm taking a good look and here's the valve. Now because it's shut, the valve should be shut, but it's not. Alright, can you see how angled the valve is from this position? Have a look at that, just taking the picture. That is a bent valve, so I'm losing compression through this one. This is quite a quick diagnostic and within about five minutes I found the fault whereas before the timing belt was fitted, cranked over and it didn't work, it was losing compression. So there you go, it's a handy tool. 